How is it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Alabama Arkansas recap video. Alabama wins this game 52 to nothing, and I, what I believe is the most complete game Alabama has played this whole entire season. And uh, I about forgot to do this video because I, I've been completely consumed in the Red Sox game, and uh, I, I, this is actually the second recap video I'm coming at you with tonight. So, got double action tonight from me. But, uh, man, I pretty, I pretty much forgot about all this crap. But, uh, anyways, it, it really was a good, the most complete game Alabama's played all season. Uh, from the the run work right away from the beginning, AJ looked good, as always, pretty much. Uh, defense looked good. Uh, the special teams was great. Uh, block kick, uh, punt returns from the get, I mean, the kick return from the get-go was nice from Christian Jones. Right, it's like the 40 or something, which pretty much, from then on out, we we dominated. Uh, it was a rude awakening for Brett Bielema in his first his first game in Tuscaloosa, uh, 52 to nothing. I don't think really expected that. I forget what I said the score was going to be like 35 to 14, something like that. I think everybody saw a blowout coming, but not 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 anything like that. But I will say, like I said in my previous video, that Alex Collins is an absolute beast, and he's going to end up being might be the best running back in the SEC next year, maybe the next year, but he, he's a beast, uh, straight up. Brandon Allen didn't look too good. He had a couple nice nice throws here and there. He moved the ball all right, but um, he, he for the most part, looked not not so great. Um, Benny Sinceri is hurt, and I didn't think it was that serious because he was, he was walking under his own power. Yeah, he was kind of limping, but he was still walking by himself. Uh, but after the game, Nick Saban said it could be serious, which is kind of scary to me. We'll know for sure tomorrow, but that's it's still still scary coming out of Nick Saban's mouth that it could be serious. I was hoping it would just be some little sprain or something that he'd be okay. But um, we we can't afford to miss him for more than two two weeks tops, maybe three weeks until the LSU game because um. It's, it's the LSU game. It's the most important game left on our schedule. Now the Auburn games kind of looked a little more, a little bit more important uh, towards the end of the season. But uh, in hindsight, right now, um, it looks like that uh, we're gonna, we're really gonna we're really gonna need him for that LSU game. So hopefully it's not. If it's if it is, has any uh, serious extent whatsoever, it will be maybe like hopefully a two week injury. But um, but the defense looked good. They really did. Uh, they had a couple drives where they allowed Arkansas and uh, plus territory, but to come up with a big block kick. So that's <laughs> that's all that matters there. No turnovers turnovers today. Derek Hen Henry finally got that big run, and we finally eclipsed 50 points. I was, I was I've been waiting for that that mark. We've been waiting so long to hit that 50 point mark, and uh, it took a minute left in the game. We were just running the football, trying to run the clock out. And Derek Henry. That guy has some absolute wheels on him. That is amazing considering how big he is. He looked like he ran maybe a 4-4 flat, and that that was extremely impressive. That just that should put a little bit of, of fear into the, the uh, SEC opponents that are going to be playing soon. But um, anything else I want to say? Like I said, it was a very, very um, complete game. I, not really any mistakes I can think of, honestly. There's not... There was no fumbles. There was no drop passes. Usually, TJ doesn't look so great catching the football, but he had a couple big catches. He had that one amazing almost catch in the end zone, but he got knocked out out of his hands by the defender at the really last, at the very last second. But we looked great. 352 yards running the football. Our offensive line has been playing so much better. Our running backs are looking great. Um, our run game has com completely transformed uh, from week one and week two. I mean, uh, I, I thought it was extremely ignorant for everybody saying how we're going to be in for such a terrible season after week one because our offensive line didn't look good. Man, you got teams transform over the season, and you can't expect them to be gods week one. And we're looking so much better now, and I just, I'm glad that proves the, the haters wrong. But uh, Allen ended up 7-25. I didn't know it was that bad. Uh, 91 yards, uh, two picks, no touchdowns. Alex Collins had 77 yards. I didn't realize it was that much either. 
and uh, Williams had 48. McCarron ended up 15 and 21, 180 yards and three touchdowns. Um, TJ looked the running backs <laughs> averaged 9.5 yards per carry. Uh, Henry had six for 111, Drake eight for 104, and Yeldon 12 for 88. And D. Hardax got some time at running back too, uh, four for 24. Uh, Cooper had some big catches as well. Uh, he finally looked he like looked like he's getting a little bit healthier. Um, three catches for 65 yards and the touchdown. Fowler had that early touchdown, and Howard had that one touchdown. Howard's gonna be an absolute beast, man. Howard's a true freshman. He's gonna buy by his junior year. He's gonna be a top. A top ten, I think, in the pit, in the wow, top ten pick in the draft. But uh, secondary looked good, defensive front looked good. CJ had that uh, one drop pick, which I, would, I think he wish he had, had uh, gotten back. But hey, they ended up blocking the kick anyway on the drive. So guess it, guess that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, Tennessee week up next, and uh, this is going to be awesome because this is actually going to be the first time in the last two seasons that I've actually been able to watch the Tennessee game because I've, I've missed one game the past two seasons and that was the Tennessee game both times last season it was I can't remember what it was but I haven't been able to watch it so I finally get to watch another victory of uh, Alabama Crimson Tide over the Tennessee Volunteers so that's going to be awesome but uh, hey, they they show they they're competing. I mean, they lost. I mean, they beat South Carolina today. They look competitive against South Alabama, my school. But uh, anyways, that's for another video. Catch you guys later. Roll Tide, go Sox, go Titans to you. Uh, let me know what you think about this game in the comment section below, and let me know what you think about the Tennessee game coming up in the comment section below. But until next time, catch you guys later. Have a great night. Peace.